2023. Peter Obi explains how he acquired his London home after the EFCC query. Welcome to the news end. Thank you for tuning in to listen. A video of former governor of 2023 presidential candidate Peter Obi explaining how he got the funds used to acquire his home situated in the United Kingdom after the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, invited him for an inquiry that have caused a stir on social media. Recall that Peter B was once invited by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission after leaked files published by Premium Times showed that Peter B operated a foreign account and did not declare it in his asset declaration form provided by the Code of Conduct Bureau. The former governor, who later denied making any statement on his invitation by EFCC in a recent video that has surfaced, was captured explaining and showing documents of how he acquired his house in the United Kingdom back in 1966, way before he became a governor. See some of the reactions gathered by the publication below. Other politicians left the group chat. Another wrote, this is what Nigeria needs, a reasonable, honest, and accountable president. Another wrote, but all of us sharing and loving this video will not stay vote for him. Get your PVC and vote, guys. And vote, guys. The real voters are not on Instagram. Another commented, everybody knows Peter B is not a thief. I stand and restand a very humble man. Another commented, if not for tribalism, this man is overqualified. I wish your bass and houses another tribe will look past tribe and vote for P2B. Another opined, we are not concerned about party but person, and he seemed to be the most reasonable and competent among the lot. We will call the post if he is not contesting. Simple. Another said, carry us they go, will be carry us they go another party. Another opined, this man is too clean. He's from my village and you won't believe his house in the village. Still, the same st old structure he built before he became governor. Another pinned, can Peter be form a crazy party on his own that we, the youth, can support? Another pinned, we are voting for candidate, not party, this time. Another commented, why is Richard shaking? Why can't he defend himself like this? Another pinned, only a legible president. Okay. Ah, uh, a lot of people are coming out to say this. You know, if you people realize there was a time, I think last year, was it mid last year? No, I think late last year, somebody came out. I don't know how, but that one particular news site came out and they published Pandora Papers that Peter B was this. I think some people were even dragging him, you know, oh, this one, that one. All the thing you said that time was not true. And I was like, can't you just give this man a break? Yeah. And I was saying that time, and it was because that time he was already came out, people were telling him to come out that time. People were dragging him online to come out and contest to run for presidency. So they were dragging him online, and that publication just, woof, just came out. And a lot of people began to say, ah, this one, are you clean? A lot of people even used this time, that time to chase clouds. Ah, this man, no, he's not clean as, you know, a whole lot of things. A whole lot of things against against P2B. But now, he's not shying away. He's not trying to avoid or evade the question. He's trying to come out and say, this is and this and this. Though, I think they said it's in a video. So if you want to watch the video, you have to search for it online. Yes, you have to search for it online. Just click on, you know, uh, click on the news title. P2B explains how he acquired his London home, you know, after he, had, or just how he just, that video just pop up. So the thing is, if corruption, we want to stop corruption in Nigeria, we need to hold everybody um, accountable. People often wonder why people declare their assets, you know, before they become the president or the governor, Senate House member, House of Assembly member. One of the reasons is that so that when you leave and we are seeing plenty of property going with you, we will know that uh, this man who is his property. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yes, that is it. That is just it. So that they can really, really know that, ah, this one, now you get him. This one, no, you get him. 
this one, maybe you get up. That is what it means. And it means you can also be held accountable. Meaning if you, if you, if you're given, let's say some, something like um, five naira, that five naira will be there. You have to state categorically how you spent that particular five naira. No one cobble should be left un uncounted for. That's what he's just trying to say. No one cobble. PWB is too clean. This is why we want him to take over the presidential affairs after Buhari. Mm -hmm. He also says he hasn't quarried Balastinibu's bill of Vansaga and other corrupt practices of his legacy as governor of Lagos State, but a concentration on those who are a threat to APC continuation in office. It is good for them to clear him now before he's sworn in as president to avoid distractions. Hmm. Okay. You see how desperate and shameless these cabals who think Nigeria belongs to them can be. It is now he wants to contest for presidency that they remember he has a house in the UK. In that desperation, they didn't even bother to check when he bought the house. Well, even when he came out to declare, I mean, when he has not even come out to declare, they have been dragging him for a very long time. The best man for the job, but voting along tribal line, he would not would not allow us choose him more, especially northerners. Okay. We both no one's Nigeria anymore. Nobody is voting for any seventh of Nigeria in Ibu land anymore. His immediate family members can vote for him. Please. You see this in the Boski style. It's not, we don't even need this kind of energy here at all. We don't need this kind of energy here at all. There are ways and different ways to get to, let me say, to get to Nigeria from any part of the world. Yes. I don't want to believe that the, 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 if you're coming from Australia, you follow the same route. If you're coming from Algeria, if you're coming from Ghana, no. The different route. Which is the route those who are seeking, oh, he wants a succession, he wants to agitate for. It is the same route you should take. This gra no they walk. Can't you people see? Can't you people now support something else? I'm not saying you should leave your agitation, but change route. I'm just saying. This EFCC of Nigeria is trying, in fact, they're working very hard to catch the innocent, only those who cling her during this election period. While the prime suspects are on the loose, enjoying their loot and acquiring the ticket for the election. Hmm. The only credible person that has his people at heart, he will do more than well. If ever these non entity delegates, let them collect the $15,000 and from this old that will still wear pampas instead of them to go and rest in peace and still vote for P2B. He is to be compared with Sheikh Mohammed bin Ziyad of Dubai. Straightforward human. Go to Dubai. Go to Dubai. A passenger was, was said, can any book come out from the desert? It's a center for now. We all comes and spread the holidays. Hmm. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news.